Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Top of Time with Harris Young on this beautiful late October afternoon. It is a crisp bottom day, but you know, kind of warm today, 70 plus degrees. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be longing for this weather when we when we when it goes away. So just savor the moment. And then we have a great show for you tonight. An awesome guest. He's he's a mover and a shaker. And, and right, when I say that, I mean that literally. And we're going to get to that in a minute. But before we do, got to read these great underwriters, and then we will commence per usual. So we got Auto Country in Abington. Uh, King of the used car dealer Raiders, King of the used car dealer Raiders of 2021 in Massachusetts, out of 4,500. We got Lynch's Towing Auto Cycle and Truck Center in Brockton, one number for towing, one number for projects. We got a new one, CNC Antiques and Collectibles in East Bridgewater. We got Big Lee's Automotive in Abington. We got the Gunrunner LLC in Middleborough, dedicated to your Second Amendment rights. We got Eli's Auto Repair in Taunton. We got Britain Tire Service in Brockton. We got Auto Town Auto Glass installed in Abington. We got Grant's Rental in Bridgewater. We got Easton Fitness right here in the Village Shops in Northeastern, and we got Doggy Boutique, all breed professional grooming for dogs and cats, run by my great next door neighbor Debbie Shadell in Brockton. I want to thank you guys very much. And on that note, I will now introduce this uh, young man here. This is Michael Rue, and as you can see, he's got a kangaroo on his shirt, and that's representative of his of his livelihood, which is moving people. Uh, we're going to get all into that. He even got me a nice souvenir. He brought me a, a pen and a case and a kangaroo decal, and I'll, and maybe even a. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's bonds in here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's a it's a calendar, I guess. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's, no, a, it's a notepad. notepad. I can definitely use a notepad yeah. with the kangaroos on it. I'm always writing, jotting stuff down. All right. So, Michael, first of all, I want to thank you for being in here today, coming in, right, you know, hauling down from Haverhill, Mass, to do my show. I know it was a bit of a tr trip, and I appreciate you being on time. I know the traffic was kind of rough. Yeah. No, I appreciate the invite. We're excited to be here. Okay. All right, well, you know, I know everybody, and I, I said you're a mover, and that's exactly what you are. You move people, you, and everybody at some point has to move. Everybody, I don't think anybody that's watching this show that hasn't moved at some point in their life. Right. Except somebody that's so young that they don't even know what's going on. That's very <laughs> possible. Yeah. So, okay, well, now, you know, you're, you're a self-employed entrepreneur, and that's, and that's awesome. I mean, I love having people like that on the show because it shows that, you know, you're living the American dream just like I'm living the American dream. Yeah. And, that, and that we share that in common, and that's pretty awesome. So what I do with every guest is I profile them specifically just to find out how they got to be where they're at. So let's go back to the days when you were young, 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 of yours when you were a real young kid. You don't look too old now. I'm sure you're a lot younger than 37, I 37, yeah. Did you say you were? Just 37. Just 37, right. Still right. a baby. There you go. You, I got, you got 25 years under me here. So, so what, what was like, where did you grow up? What was life like? What did you aspire to as a kid? And then let's, you know, let's roll in with that, and then we'll move into other things. So yeah. go ahead. And, I, and oh, yeah, we're going to watch a little video about halfway through the show. Yeah, no, so I actually grew up in Haverhill, Mass. Yep. Um, my mother, she, uh, CNA, she's worked really hard her whole life. My dad was in labor. Uh, hot CNA, what's CNA again? Uh, certified nurse assistant. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yep. So she uh, really focused more towards uh, taking care of the elderly. Yep. Okay. Um, but my dad was always into working hard, and that's where I kind of got my my work ethic from him and my mother. Yep. Um, and he always wanted to start a, a company and you know name it. Uh, his thing was paving, so he wanted to be a uh, oh paver. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. You know, uh, Roos family paving. <clears throat> and All you need is a mason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, so that's, you know, where their name, Ruse Family Moving, came from was, was inspired by my father. Um, but no, growing up, the last thing I wanted to do was anything labor. I got into sales at an early age. Okay. And, um, I, I loved it for a long time. What did you sell? Uh, mortgages. I did real estate. I, so I was one of those guys that sold car warranties over the phone. You cool. Know, calling you every I've day. I've telemarketing. I know yeah. what that's like. Yeah. It's fun, but it's, it's, it's work. I mean, you, you, yeah. you, you, phone can, you can be stressful in the ringing. psyche. Yep. Okay, but you were good at it, evidently. Yeah, no, I was really good at it, surprisingly. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, not but, surprisingly. Uh, you, you seem to have a, you have a good oration going on. I can I, I'm sure I'd listen to something that you wanted to sell me. I might not buy it, but yeah. I'd listen. But <laughs> gotta that's be half the is getting someone to listen. Yeah, you got to be persistent. Exactly, yeah. exactly. All right, well, why did you, what, what, decide, what changed you from sales to, you know, to, to blue collar? And you're not blue collar, I don't think. I think you're, you're, white, you're, white, you're white collar with some with some blue paint on it. Yeah, That's there you I go. It. Yeah, no, I, um, so I actually, I got sick of doing sales and okay. uh, I took a job with a, a gentleman at a moving company. Okay. And I just fell in love with the business, you know. How and long he, ago was that? Um, about four years ago, four and a half years ago. Okay. And uh, he was a great entrepreneur, uh, great mentor to me. Yep. You know, and his business has been very successful. So, um, I, you know, funny story was actually uh, I worked for him and I went on vacation. We do a family vacation, okay. and I came back and uh, he actually replaced me. 
So I came back to no job. I always say everything happens for a reason. Yeah, now and you decided, I uh, decided to start your own. Yeah, yeah. So I told them right then and there. I said, "Well, I appreciate the opportunity and everything you taught me. I'm going to start my own company." He looked at me and he said, "There's plenty of business for everybody." And still to this day, I remain in contact with him. And you know, good friends. He, That's great. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Instead of being mad that he threw you out of his company. Right, no, he did me a great favor. He did, I know, he pushed he me in the right direction. Exactly, like the robin kicking the baby out of the nest. Yeah, yeah, and then I got really lucky, so um, I actually own and operate the company with my nephew. Okay. My brother's son, he's 21 years old, okay. and he's my business partner. I was hoping he'd be here today, but... Um, well, he's probably busy. He is, yeah. yeah. He runs the day-to-day. -day. He really handles a lot of the, the brunt of it, okay. so that way I can continue to grow the business on the back end of side things. Okay, now, the thing is, is when, you, when you move people, are you, who do you, how do you make contacts? Mostly through real, realtors who make sales in homes? Well, yeah, so I actually, you know, from recruiting real estate agents, I built a huge network of people, and I'm all about building long-lasting relationships. Okay. You know, I take yep. pride in meeting people and, and developing a relationship that's going to last a long time. Right. Because, you know, we're not here just for that first move. You know, I want to move their kids. I want to move oh, yeah, their yeah. kids, Absolutely. kids, Generations. you know. Right. Um, so yeah, no, I, I build in the network and then social media. I mean, social media is such a powerful it platform is. that I utilize very well. Um, and, and, and that's really where we get a lot of our work from is, is social media and advertising and, you know, networking. Exactly. I do the same thing for, to get guests from my show. Yeah. Uh, present that's how you met included. me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Now, when it, but, but how do you, I mean, how many people do you have working for? You have a, you, you run your nephew's your business partner, but I assume you have people working in your office. You do, you do a lot of physical lab yourself, too, I guess. I actually do it all. Um, oh, you do? Yep, wow. I, I, I do everything. I do the books. Um, and my nephew being able to do all the day-to-day, -day, you know, really gives me that chance to, well, what, to focus right, on the If you do everything, what does your nephew do? Everything. So you both do everything? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's I, he, right. he handles more of the day-to-day -day and taking care of the moves. Okay. And I handle the customers and getting the moves and the employees. Oh, okay. Um, I understand. And that includes, like, like like people like you know who, who's going to be moving when and where yeah and you need to and they and they contact you I assume by by this point word of mouth is spread pretty good for you guys yeah yeah we yeah. actually it's um seventy percent of all of our business is referral based business yes and I feel that's a test of test of what we've been doing you know right. that that speaks volumes for how we conduct ourselves how we you know. We take pride in, in providing a speedy and safe moving experience on every move. So, yep. you know, and, and it shows from our reviews, you know, we're a five-star no rated company. Right, right. <laughs> you know, and, and being so hands-on with my nephew and I, it allows, you know, it eliminates a lot of room for error. Right. You know, so, so that really helps us out a great deal because we know who's coming on your move. You know, we always like to joke you're going to get at least one rue on every move. Um, That's a joke, you know, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it's it's true. You do. Is that <laughs> and right? then yes. and then the guys, you know, they're they're all our joeys. You know, baby kangaroo is a joey, so okay. You know, we call joey? all the guys joeys. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, when you say, but so you do have people that work under you that do more. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's what I'm asking. I mean, how many people do you have in the labor force? Um, there's there's about eight solid guys that I okay. would say that yeah. that are consistent that we really depend on. Yep. Okay. And then you know we do um you know we do a lot of work for Century Twenty One Northeast. Wow. So okay. they're you know one of our big vendors and um, Ace Cleanouts is another company that they subcontract us and, okay. and we help them out as well. So you know we're definitely have our our, our uh, paws in as much as possible. Right. Of course. Um, does your wife help too? No, she's actually got her own career. She's very successful. She works at Cambridge Hospital. Cool. Um, nurse? Yeah. She's on her way. Cool. Yeah. That's congratulations. That's awesome. Good for you. Yep. We'll have you on the show too some at some point. Yeah, I always yeah she's the incredible. Profession. Yeah, it's, that's awesome. Okay. Um, do you have children? We do. So we have four kids together. Wow. Uh, well, not together. I have two from yeah, a previous. Yeah. She has one from a previous, and then we have a four-year-old. Okay. Uh, so they range. My oldest is 16. He works with us. Yep. Um, then my daughter's 14, her daughter's 10, and then our youngest, Jackson, is four. Okay, wow, that's quite a tree. Yeah, yeah, no, we're busy. Yeah, yeah wow. <laughs> well, do they all, I mean, are, do they all, are they all involved in the business to some degree? Or I'm not the four-year-old, obviously. N really? Where is the four-year-old uh, involved? Sometimes they start young. Yeah, no, he's definitely involved. <laughs> okay, uh, so? he, he is definitely a family mover. Um, wow. No, he, he, he just loves it. And, yeah, you know, yeah. he, if he sees a truck, doesn't matter what the truck is. Look, it's a family moving truck. So. Oh, no, it's a truck. Yeah. Well, does he ever, like, help, you know, br you know bring, small, bring small appliances to things that, that a four-year-old could carry? Like, you know, I don't know, little toys to, to the children that, that you're moving, maybe? No, maybe no. It's, it's, you know, we don't do a lot of family moves. So oh, you know, it's more a, commercial and... 
Yeah. Well, no, no. I don't, I, what I mean is, is bringing a four-year-old on a move, you know, is not that really professional. Right. I would think that would be a little so, bit. So, you know, as far I look at it, is if I'm a customer and if you brought your four-year-old yes. to the move, you're not ready to take care of my stuff. Yeah, I understand. You know? No, I understand. No, you have to make a good impression on the customers. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're there for business. You know, right. at the end of the day, you know, we're here to, to make sure that we release some stress from people because moving is stressful. And that's one of the fav my Notice. favorite things about the, the business is, you know, we're actually helping people and taking care of something that's really a burden that can, you know, ruin your, your month, your year. It, yeah. it, it can be devastating. So to be able to come in and provide that for people, it's, in, it's, it's a yeah, good feeling, you know. It is a good feeling. I'm sure it's, it is. It's definitely fulfilling. So how, I mean, does it vary in, like, in terms of, like, buyer's market, seller's market, times a year, any of that stuff? I assume those are factors in your... Uh, and you ebb and flow in the business, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're really still building our projections. You know, our okay. company is only two and a half years old. Um, so we're still really scratching the surface and, and, and figuring out what we're going to do as far as winter months go. Right. But so far, other than the first year, yep. it's, it hasn't slowed down. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of long distance even with the, Even with the virus? The virus actually was, you Helped know. You? Yeah, man, wow. it, it was. I hate saying it. Well, I really say, do. Don't say hate. Don't hate but, saying it. But any, man, anyone who got something good out of it isn't great. Is yeah, amazing. no, it, it was. It was really, really good to us. You know, very fortunate. Um, it definitely helped project, put us into a different stratosphere. I feel like, as far as other moving companies around, you know, because we were very cautious. You of know, course. we were very safe. Yep. We practiced social distancing. You know, if they required us to wear our masks, we wore our masks. Of course. We always wear our masks when we're interacting directly yep, yep. to the customer, um, gloves. So, it, you know, we, we take pride in what we're doing, so we are safe about it. And they, were, they like that. So it definitely so we, set so, us so apart. I'm, so what you're saying is people didn't have a problem moving during the virus. I mean, no. I mean, obviously not, no. or you wouldn't have done it. Nope, not at wow. all. I mean, they, you know, we went to Florida during the virus, which you was... to work? Yeah, we wow. moved somebody from um, New Hampshire to Florida, and that was uh, that was a little scary because you know they literally had the checkpoint. You you pull into the state of Florida, and they're pulling you down off of the highway, and you know there's. But checking out for, for making sure you're masked up and everything. They took they took your temperature. Oh, yeah, they yeah. asked where you were coming from. Yeah, of course. You know, asked everybody's it's like you're name. To a foreign country. Yeah, right. yeah, wow. yeah. It was pretty scary, but at the same time, you know, you feel safe. So, how many moving trucks do you have? So that's a business decision that we've discussed, and we actually don't own moving trucks. So okay. Oh, that's right. You told me. Yeah. I mean, when we talked about that we had the show in Easton, you told me that you basically lease trucks from the towns that you're moving, and it includes one in here in Easton. Yeah, there's and I know uh, exactly, It's on 138. I don't, know, yep. I don't know the name of it, but as soon as you mentioned it, yeah. I said, yeah, I know exactly where that is. And they're a great vendor to us. They're, they're a budget location, and they're a great vendor. And, you know, when we, we my nephew and I sat down and we discussed getting a moving truck, you know, we looked around. There's companies that are here just for this. Right. Budgets, riders, even U-Hauls, you yep. know, Penske. These companies are designed to help companies like ours right. to succeed and, you know, help everyday families. So we were fortunate enough to know how to utilize those companies, get commercial accounts. And, you know, it allows us to, you know, give the customers a better rate because it's more of a peace of mind for us and we don't have to charge extras for those, you know, if the truck breaks down. You know, you have to account for those things when you're, when you're doing a move. I'm sure. So it allows us to give our customers a better price. That's awesome. Well, guess what? We're going to watch a little video of Michael Rue's work and then we're going to come, well, whatever he wants to show us and then we're going to come right back. So without further ado, check it out and we'll be right back. <laughs> Just a little bit about what we do. Um, you know, there's some piano work that we do, and just Moving the guys piano. working. Yeah, yeah. There was. No, and, we just did a baby grand piano. Okay. It was uh, actually from the 18, 1895. 
So it's an antique piece. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, that's one of the things I love about this industry is running into different things that you just wouldn't see any day. Like I would never see a, a piano from the 1800s. And who's you know? to say that some, it's, uh, at some point while you're moving it, you might hit a note and think you're talented. You might want to <laughs> become a musician as well. Oh, I have those moments. <laughs> I'm sure you do. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's so cool. Yeah, I know. I'm sure you move a lot. But so moving heavy stuff. So that's so what you basically do is, oops, that's okay. You, what you basically do is you go to different towns. And, well, I mean, you say, it sounds like you do a lot of, you like a lot of, a lot of mileage, though. So do. You, how do you arrange for the trucks to, to be where you need them to be? So, when you, so like that move from New Hampshire to Florida. Yep. So how did you do that? How did you set that up? Just call, just call ahead and say we're going to be doing a move. We need tr we need so and so so many trucks to yeah. cover up. Yeah, work. so so like I said, you know, we have commercial accounts with these companies. Yep. So we have a really good relationship with those vendors and you know, I j just have to give them a call. You okay. Know, hey wow. Jay, you know, it's Michael with the Roos family moving. We have a move coming up on this day. Do you have a truck available? They say yes, great, we lock it in, we book it for that day. And now that truck is ours for that time period. Wow. And, and this is all over the country? All over the country. We've actually done moves where, uh, so we actually moved somebody from California to Georgia. Wow. And what we did is we flew into. Uh, the Justin Bieber song. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we flew into Vegas. We picked up the truck in Vegas. Wow. It was a lot cheaper than California. Uh, we drove over to California, picked up the load, and then we drove them to Georgia and we flew home. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, me and my nephew, we did that, and, and you know, it's How one of the it best take? parts. It must have taken a few, like a week, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a, a five-day drive. Yep. Um, we actually moved the customers. Um, where, they, where did the flying come in? You said you flew from Vegas, but just to see. Yeah, because, you know, like I said, they there was a, a referral from a customer back here yep. that was, their family member was moving from California to Georgia. We came in with a better rate than they were offered in California. Wow. So we flew out there, we grabbed the truck, we loaded it up, and we drove them to their new home in Georgia. Wow, all the way across from, that's, yeah. that's, that's at least yeah. 2,800 miles, I'd say, right? Yeah, it was over three. Yep. It was over three. We actually... Um, yeah, it's on the coast. Yeah, yeah. Georgia's we on the coast. I yeah, I yeah. Remember that. And right. we just did our longest move to date um, just a couple months ago. It was from Portsmouth, New Hampshire to San Diego. Wow. So literally coast to coast. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. northeast to southwest. And we towed their vehicle. So, you know, uh, it's, it, it's a good feeling. It's very nerve-wracking driving somebody else's vehicle on the back of your truck, you know. Yeah, yeah. But once you get there, everything's safe. The customer smiling. Yeah, 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 and that's the best feeling in the world. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, is your office in your house? Our office is the truck, man. Your office is the yeah, truck. Yeah, the office is the truck. So basically, but when, that's right. So when I called you that first time, you saw that's your cell phone. That's that number. That's an all. That's an all international purpose number. Absolutely, that's okay. the direct line. And you know, again, that's what separates us. Is these customers call. They know they're not going through an automated service. Right. They're getting me directly. And which as did I. We come out right. So yeah. you you know you called me. You got yeah. my personal cell phone number. That's the number on all of our business cards, our koozies. Wow. Um, you know, so so we handle everything internally and it's allowed us to really like I said minimize that room for error yeah absolutely you cut out the middle people so right yeah we way. are the middle we love it and you're, that's right you're right you're all you do it all yeah and, and it's easy when you love what you're doing you know it's a it's a long days it's long hours it's um but do you do you lease all movers in different parts of the country or just basically you do it all yourself if you're gonna like oh, that, yeah. those long thousand mile plus thousand plus mile moves I'm that's there. all you guys I'm this there is, absolutely there. me and my nephew we take these trips uh, because you know when it's you take going across, you gotta sleep at some point. We do. We sleep in hotels, but you know the thing is, is we offer an exclusive truck. So you know these customers that go to different companies, larger companies that you know might be moving four people at the same time. Wow. So they're putting all different people's furniture in the same truck, hoping that they don't mix it up, hoping everything gets there the right way. When you call, just call Roof Family Moving, you're getting myself, you're getting my nephew. And we're hands-on throughout the entire process. I'm sure. You can text me, call me 24 hours a day. And she knows it's, it doesn't, you know, the business right now, it, it comes first. Yeah. Obviously, family's first. But we're, we're growing something that's going to provide, you know, not just for us, but for our kids' kids, for our kids' kids. This is a company that, you know, my, my oldest son loves. We're going to continue to be here. How old is your oldest son now? 16. He's 16, okay. Yeah, yeah. So He's he good. helps out. He loves it. Wow. He actually he's he still works in school, right? He's in school. He actually works at Market Basket in Salem, New Hampshire as okay. well. So he works two jobs. That's right, because you're on the state line where you live. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. it's great up there. It is. I know it is a yeah. very nice area. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now in terms of now, it sounds to me like the kind of the kind of business you own 
if something that might be written up as a you know as like a as a for, as a special in Forbes magazine or something like that. Have you ever been written up in any any trade journals or any kind of, any been, ever been publicized on TV or besides here? Not yet. You know, like I said, we just we're just scratching the surface. You know, we're two and a half years into this. I have yeah, a lot I mean, of you know, you uh, ideas. You cover a lot. Of, you cover more ground we than do. any mover I've ever met. Yeah, I no, moved uh, myself about thirteen years ago, and uh, well, we 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 used a company called Kilroy. And they said okay. they're they're, I mean, they're they're right down the road in Abington, in the South Shore. And I, you know, I was just me though. I didn't wasn't a family. It was just me and my cat at the time. And that was easy, you know. I mean, it, it was like a whole day, one day process. And I didn't move yeah. very far. But some, but some, someone what, like what you do. I mean, you, I mean, these covering these kind of miles is very unique for a mover. Yeah, I think especially that's a, especially a self-employed one. And yeah, it's not national, you know, it's not a national corporation. Right, and, and and you know maybe one day you know we we look to bring it to that level and, and bring it nationally, and we have some ideas, and we definitely are just starting. You've already to brought grow. it nationally. You move from yeah. you move from <laughs> New Hampshire to San Diego and Georgia yeah. and, and California to Georgia. That's national. Yeah, it's, no, you're I already mean, there. We we have a. You know, I, I don't want to grow too big yet. Okay. I, I enjoy being very hands-on because once you get too big, then you have to really trust in other people to handle certain parts of it. And oh, of course. Still my baby, you know, so I'm still oh, yeah. coddling it, making sure that she grows into, you know, a beautiful, healthy. So how many, like, how many people will you, will you be moving, like, say, in the next couple of weeks? You haven't, I mean, I see. Ah, man, next week we are actually booked solid. Yeah, we, I'm sure. Um, okay. Yeah, no, next week we, we have probably about two or three moves every day. And, that, and that, are any of them across the country? No, no, and right time? now it's all local stuff. Local stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, that must be, good. it must be satisfying to move someone, you know, when you don't have to travel two, two three thousand miles, too. Oh, yeah, it's the best. It is. You yeah, know, you, you get done, you go home, and that's you it, start yeah. again in the morning. Start again in the morning. I assume you get up pretty early every day. I do, yeah. It's usually about 4.30 we wake up and, yeah, and yeah. start the day because, you know, you have 24 hours in a day. You, you, you want to make running. the most of it. So, you know, I usually sleep about maybe four to five hours. And then uh, that's, that's a good that's a good sleep. A guy, yeah. you know, hopefully people in young under forty can get get away with five hours of sleep. You, you have to make the most of your days, man. Oh, I know. You know, time management is key. You know, I'm, I'm big on time management. We use our calendars. Everything is done through our calendars at work. So, you know, we want to make sure that we're organized. Um, okay, have you ever done any like public speaking for you know talking? I mean, I know you've done sales, uh, so. I mean, you're, you're a good orator, you're a good, you're a good presenter. Uh, have you ever done anything like that? Ever spoken at a Chamber of Commerce meeting or anything like that? Nope, nope. I uh, just had some really great mentors that helped me in sales. It, like, um, your, like, your, like your business partner and your father? Well, my nephew, he's 21, he's learning from me. So I have the well, joy yeah, of teaching mentor. him. Right, right, right. So that's that's one of my favorite parts of, of my everyday you know, life is I'm working with my nephew. He's growing. He's an amazing, amazing kid. I really wish he was able to come because, you know, he, he's, you know, so well, we'll get him it, on another time. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. But okay. you know, without him, I wouldn't be able to do what we do. He, he's such a great kid. He's motivated. He's hungry. He's willing to learn. Okay. He's coachable. So you know, having people like that around you, you know, allows you to grow and allows them to grow. Because at the end of the day, we want to build each other up. You exactly. Know? Is he college educated? No, no, he's just really smart. He okay. graduated from Woody Tech in Haverhill. Uh, I believe it was high honors, if not honors. That's good. And what about you? Were you college educated? Not at all. Wow. Nope. No, I, uh, <laughs> okay. I actually, I got my, my uh, high set, the, the GED. Okay. So I didn't graduate high school. You did? Um, wow. Huh. No, I did not, unfortunately. But, you know, I went back and got my you got education. Your GED, right. right. So you got, oh, guess right. what? We're down to the final five minutes of the show. All right, all and right. We, and we made it go by. You have a lot of interesting things to say. So, here, so here's go, going forward, what I want you to do first is look at the camera and you look at your wife to give shouts out to people that are going to see the show. She's already seen it you yeah. know, firsthand. Condense them and then we'll wrap the show up the way we began it with All right. Mr. Awesome. Music here. Um, so yeah, everybody, just call Ruth's Family Moving, 978-398-2784. I do want to just shout out my four beautiful kids, Nicholas, Taryn, Nadia, Jackson. Uh, obviously, Jonathan Rue, who's not here. And then I would love to, you know, give a shout out to some of our charity organizations that we work with. Uh, Aussie's Kids in Haverhill is a great uh, organization that we love working with. And then there's um, Cadence Crusaders. Uh, they're an amazing people. So, you know, definitely look them up. Happy Hats is an organization. If you can donate, go and, you can go and help out, be part of something great. But, um, yeah, I appreciate everybody and your continued support. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, what's what's Ozzy's kids? 
Ozzy's kid, so um, Officer Hardy was a, a police officer in Haverhill, oh. Massachusetts. He passed away, and he did a lot. You know, he brings, you know, kids get uh, jackets for winter. She, she, oh, they, I see what you mean, helping They help out families yeah. for, for dinners and things like that, and they just do a lot for our community, and I, I love being a part of it because we help them out a lot. Okay, I was thinking, I thought it might, I thought it, for some reason I sensed there was something to do with autism. Oh, no, they do help out a lot um, with autism stuff. They do such a, a range of different things to autism, help the community. That's what makes it kind of cool that I'm doing a show like this. Yeah, yeah, that is awesome. My nephew has autism, too, so, you know, I definitely the one, relate. Oh, the 21-year-old? No, not that one. My younger nephew. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's great. I mean, it's wonderful that you're helping out these charities. Um, now, you've already given out shouts out to people. Anybody that you want to have on is, you know, I'm like, I'm, like I tell everybody that I interview, I get more guests from word of mouth than I ever have before. So, like your nephew or anybody else that you th can think of that's interesting and wants to do the show, have him text me. Yeah. Get my or call me. We'll get him on. Yeah, I got a few ideas for you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> have you ever uh, moved anybody famous? Just wondering. Uh, if not, I expect it'll happen at some point. Hopefully, at some point, but not yet. Okay, not well, yet. As close as you come, right here, then. Yeah, that's right. You're our first famous interaction. That's <laughs> great. And, and one more thing before we wrap the show up: Is there anything on the horizon going on for you? Besides, I know you got your moves coming up. Anything big that's coming up in the next, you know? few months going through going forward that you want to mention um, you know a few months maybe not so much but we're definitely we're writing a book um, you're, writing a, you're writing a book I'm writing about a book an autobiography basically about my life and things go. I've been through and where we are today um, and then you know we're developing a few different things we're working on growing our business um, developing an app and you know some different things that are going to be exciting that's awesome. Yeah, that's I've written. I've written a few books myself, so I can relate. Oh yeah, definitely have to pick your brain. Uh, I, you, know, you can. My, my book is about it's short stories. It's not autobiographical, autobiographical, but it is kind of disturbed, which, <laughs> which is what I could, which is what I was always considered growing up too. So maybe it so will be fitting. fun. It's a yeah. fun read. Let me give yeah, you, yeah. A, and I'm All sure right. your autobiography will be too. All right, Michael, great, great. job. Thank um, you. Good job, and I hope you enjoyed watching this. Me, him being interviewed by me. And on that note, we're going to wrap the show up. Are you ready? As we I'm begin? ready. All right, folks, thanks for watching Topic Time. More great episodes to follow. Take care. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.